so the eggs are laid, they roll down. That's done. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a bee. Big breakdown. It's the drill working there. Good morning, two bells here, my yard number three, just away to bed, some bullocks, got the dog. Don't forget, the last of all the hen things to do today, done, and that'll be the hens thick, done, complete. Be glad to get them done. She's got a bit of pace, 22. That's after just bolting it all the way up the hill, so 25 probably. Top pace 28. I don't think she'd break 30 anyway. I think Percy will be waiting for me around here. Of course he is. I think Lulu likes Percy more than Percy likes Lulu. So we're finished with the older front lift at home and it stays at this yard number two. Dad's just bringing it along the road, so I'm waiting on him coming. Percy could do with a bale of silage, so that's why I'm needing the forklift now. So we'll just have to wait for him to arrive. Here he comes. Bale of silage into Percy. Lovely morning. Here! That dog. He's needing a bit of training, to be honest. You got a squeeze going in here? New bale of silage for Percy. Let's get the skate shot and then we're done here. Good morning ladies. Elander's fed up. I'm gonna name these Lawrence, Lyle and Bowen. If you know the reference of those names I've just said, put it in the comments. Scottish thing. Hen feed getting made up today so that's why that door's open. This is the bit I was talking about when I said saying we could do with a wee digger. That's one of the odd jobs. This corner needs dug out and figure out where there's a leak coming from because there's definitely a leak in there. Well, nah, there must be. And filling that, we could do with filling it all in with planings or whatever, just because it's a gateway and they poach it up and we usually put a feeder out here as well, so. Mats, needing these mats for the hens. These are the new ones lay on this side of them. There's a lot more than I was thinking we were needing. Trays there, um, the mats sit on the trays, or they hook in, and these trays fold up during the night so they can't lay, and the way they fold up is via these wires. So we need replacement wires, replacement um, grids, and replacement mats. So I think we've got everything now. Bulbs all down this line, done. Sparky's just away, um, those bulbs down the middle of the egg laying belt, they had an issue, I think some mice had to chew through the wire, so he got that sorted, he found the problem anyway. Good Sparky that, he's on his holidays but he knows this can't really wait, so he came out and got it sorted. See this tree is goosed, it's, these hinges are broken, anyway we've got new trees to put in, so we've got special sauce on that bolt. Take that out and it, the whole tray will slide that way a wee bit and the pin on the other side. That one will come out, put a new tray in. Uh, it's also needing wires. So these wires sit on a, a roller beam here and when the trays need to come up, this rolls later on at night and brings the trays up so that hens can't lay eggs in the boxes. So I've released that. Now this should slide up and then out for the other end. Nah, the end ones usually need a pry. I've got that out, just got a new one here. Put it in. That's it. And now tighten that up again and it stops the sliding out again. So it goes that way to come out and then all the way that way, tighten that down. All the wires and the trays sorted bar this one, which I managed to shear the wee bolt, the wee bolt in there and at the other side. 
hinge is knackered there. Hinge is knackered there, so I need to replace this tray. I need to get a pry bar and try and pry it out at this end and then get a new one in. Should be able to, but I'm just going to go and do some mats. Dad's done mats all up this side. So these new mats go in here. The hook's on the back. The hook, there's three hooks along there. Hook onto this. And then you fold it up and then do the same along this edge. You put one in there, one in there. Fold that plastic bit, bit back over like that one. And that's where the hens go in to lay. That's got a slope to it. So the eggs are laid, they roll down through the wee flap onto the conveyor belt, which takes it out to the end to be graded. Right, it's lunch time. Not filmed anything for the last two hours. Just oh, frustrating job. Wasn't in the mood. Just about done. Well, it's not last time yet. I'm going to get a grid because there was a few more broken than we thought. So I need to get a spare one, put that in, and then lunch time. These are all the broken ones. We do have a box of hinges because we've repaired a lot before. So they'll go up, get repaired eventually. Quite a few. Well, there's only about five there, actually. Last time I think we did about 20. We're getting there. Dad was tidying pallets earlier. Still a few to go. I need 12 in a pile for a fen farming challenge. I'll do that at some point. Basically, there's bars that go across onto a ledge over there, but they're not reaching something out of, out of alignment. So I'm going down in that hole, scuttling under there, and putting these bars that Dad's just chopping a length to on each beam so we can support it that way just because it gets a bit soft in there and when you stand on it you can see it moving so we'll get that sorted boxes are all done these are new mats that are in new mats and a few new trays they're all finished just need to put the, the tops on the top of them because these all get covered in again that's done uh, lights are all good we've got a ramp to build at the far end it goes down into the scratching area and this bit here and a few other bits and bobs we're getting there the hole's not too appealing bars in one more to go bit of a tricky bit to work in but this bar could drop underneath okay floor's solid now that's that job sorted i can fill this in again these sections just come out easy enough and fold down the hole. Right, that's that job done. Gonna start putting all these back on all those. Same on the other side. One set of steps in. This is needing diesel. Um, I'm going to pick up I need a 30mm socket for the end of the feed auger to hold on the actual auger onto the motor. It's got a wee J bolt and a 13mm nut on the end of the bolt. It squeezes in the, in the actual auger onto the shaft, holds it solid. Dunk Dave, do you miss this job? I doubt it. Getting the last board in here. I'm not going to flux, I'm just using the headstock a wee bit dodgily. Let's ignore that. Just hide that. Brought it up a wee bit and now we're in. But that side's popped out a wee bit. Augers all back together. There's no feed in that hopper. He's coming tomorrow morning to fill that up. Hens come tomorrow as well, so hopefully he actually turns up. I think they've got people with COVID and people off. And so hopefully they turn up tomorrow. They said they would. So they usually turn up when they say. I am on the hunt for that bucket, I'm just checking that it's empty and to put some sand in it because we've just put the water pipe all back together and it's to be minus 4 or 5 tonight make sure that's all buried well and deep so it doesn't frost up, doesn't freeze don't want the water systems to freeze in the hens it's a nightmare I think there's sand just around this corner hopefully yes, there we go, this is our wee quarry 
can easily just get a load, 12 ton load, the quarry not far away from here, fill it up and it always gets used. I've got a nice warm cab today, heating on full blast. That's the water pipe, buried. Right. Done with the sand, what have we did? Need to go and build a ramp now. Ramp's done. In here it's finished. Super bright. And there's ramps. Good to go. Shut that door. Done. Just gonna change a few bulbs in the other shed. There's a few needing change there while we're at it. And the step ladders are down here. No safe, is it? Having pensioners creeping about in a half light trying to get in and out of their houses, you know. Right, let's have a look, see what we've got here. Right. Oh. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? Right. No tomb, right, is it? No, 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 not at all. It's safe, is what it is. Right. Right, it's safe, right. <laughs> This is the final job. Well, just about. Take this powder, which is really, really light, feathery, and launch it all over the place. So stop mites and pathogens and various other bits and bobs. Yeah, you can see there's a layer of it on everything. It's kind of done out there. See, it's all sturdy and covered in it. And then we need to do all in here, all the way up to the end. You end up a right mess. Lovely. And my zip's broken. Oh, lovely. That's the last of it. Empty buckets. Clarty. We're done. Cheers for watching. Like and subscribe. Subscribe. Big red button. Go on. Just click it. We're getting this monkey. Big red one. See you in the next one. To top it all off, I just went to clean my boots in a puddle and I managed to get water in my welly. Lovely. Wet wellies.